hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can add photos and videos on a video i'm going to show you guys how you can place photos and place videos on a video it's simply called overlaying i will show you guys how you can overlay pictures and photos on your video sometimes when you're watching a video on tiktok or maybe on youtube you're going to see that as a person is making a video you're going to see that pictures and videos are going to be popping out from the screen maybe the person is using the pictures and the videos to explain what he or she is saying what that person is simply doing is called overlaying that means placing pictures photos and videos on a video so guys i'm going to show you guys how you can do that right away so guys now the first step that you have to take now is to go over to your play store or you go over to your app store in case you're using an iphone then you search for InShot. once you're able to download the InShot app into your phone then you're good to go so guys let me tap on my InShot app to open it right away so guys, once your InShot app opens up, this is the first interface you're going to see. So what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written video. You can see that the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it. So guys, here now, the next step that you have to take now is to tap on the plus icon to actually create a new video. You can see there is written new, the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it. So guys, now you can see it has directed us to our phone gallery. The next step that you have to take now is to choose the video that you want to place pictures and videos on. So guys, now let me choose my video right away. Then the next step that you have to take now is to tap on the good icon below. You can see there, the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it. So guys, now you can see this is the video I just selected. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually place pictures and even videos on this particular video. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do overlaying. So guys, just make sure you follow me to the end of this video. So guys, I'm going to be showing you guys two methods on how you can actually place videos and also photos on a particular video. So guys, let me show you guys right away. So guys, let me go back to the first method. The first step that you need to take now for the first method is to tap on where you see the VIP icon, which is also called the peep icon. So guys can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys can see immediately i tapped on the pip icon you can see it has directed us to our gallery as you can see there at the top you can see we have the video section and also the photo section you can see if i actually want to place a video on that video now what i have to do now is to select among these videos that i have here in my gallery but if i want to place photos what i have to do now is to tap on the photo section at the top so guys let me tap on it so guys, now you can see that directed us to my photo section. These are all the photos that I have in my phone gallery. So guys, let me start with photos before I go back to video. So let me select the photo now that I want to place on that video. Let me start for the photo right away. Oh, so guys, let me take this one right here. Wow, guys, you can see the photo has been placed on this video. Let me play the video from the start again so you see it. So guys, you can see the video is playing. You can see now the photo has been placed on the video. It has popped out. You can see the way it popped out then it's out so guys now this is how you can actually place photos on your videos so guys can actually adjust this photo to any area in the video that you want it to pop out from for you to do that you have to tap on the photo down there in the timeline you can see that that encycled area is your timeline so you have to tap on the photo right there so let me tap on it so guys now you can see immediately i tapped on the photo on my timeline you can see now the photo on my video has been highlighted so guys now you can actually use this icon here to either reduce the photo or increase the photo so guys you can see you can see i'm increasing it and i can also shift it to any area that i want to place it you can place it at the top or at the top right corner or at the bottom right corner whichever place they want to place it so guys let me take it to the top right away so guys there's something else i want to show you i want to show you how you can actually remove the background of this photo that you've just placed on this video so guys now for you to actually remove the background in case you don't like the background what you have to do now is to swipe through these features right here you can see all these features right here you can see the feature you can see it's moving from left to right what you have to do now is to tap on where you see cut out you can see there the arrow is pointing out you can see the cut out icon you can see the cut out icon so let me tap on it Immediately like tap on it you're going to see that the background of that picture that i selected is going to be removed so guys let me tap on it so guys now i can see the background of the picture has been removed let me increase it so guys can see the background has been removed so guys let me reduce the image let me take it to the top so guys now i can see this is how it's been done so guys let me play the video from the start again so you see it yeah so guys now i can see how the photo popped out on the screen you can see the video is still playing and as you can see now it has disappeared so guys we actually want this photo to extend from the beginning of the video to the end of the video what you have to do now is actually to tap on the photo on the timeline let me tap on it then if you want to extend it to the end what you have to do now is to drag that icon right there you can see where the arrow is pointing at just drag it so you guys can see you can see now it's not extending you can do this to the end of the video 
but there is another way that can actually extend this photo from the beginning to the end and that is actually to tap on that place that you see just tap on it you can see where that arrow is pointing at just tap on it so guys now you can see where it is written video end once you tap on video end it will take this video from where it was to the end of the video so guys let me tap on video end right away so guys now you can see it has taken it to the end of the video you can see now we can now see the photo from this point to the end of the video in case you want the photo to appear from the beginning of the video what you have to do again now is to tap on that place that the arrow is pointing at you can drag it or you can either tap on it so let me tap on it so guys can see what popped out so if i want this photo now to appear from the beginning of this video what i have to do now is to tap on where it is written clip beginning so let me tap on it so guys now you can see it, it has gotten to the beginning of the video so guys can also hold on the photo on the timeline to actually adjust the position of the photo you can see it. let me hold on the photo you can see so guys can see the way i'm adjusting it you can see you can actually do this so guys let me add another photo now to show you more features so guys for you to do that you have to tap on that peep icon again you can see it there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys let me select another photo which i'm going to select right now um let me select this one right here so guys can see i've selected another photo so guys now for you to actually place this photo on the corner maybe you want to place this on the corner or maybe you want to reduce it what you have to do now is to use this icon right here you can see the icon right here you can take it to any position that you want or you can reduce it with your hand with the screen you can see you can place your two hands on the screen to reduce it you can use this icon right here you can see where the arrow is pointing at so guys let me place this one right here let me place it at the top so guys i want this photo to appear from the fifth seconds so let me adjust it to the fifth seconds so guys now i placed it so guys let me play this video now from the top from the start let me tap on it so guys now you can see that the, the first photo was already there so it's starting from the beginning you can see now the second photo has popped out and, and as you can see the second photo has disappeared so guys let me go ahead now to show you guys how you can actually add a video so guys for you to do that now what you have to do now is to tap on the peep icon again you can see there at the left so let me tap on it so guys now for you to actually add videos what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written video you can see there at the top the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys here you can see these are the videos that i have in my gallery so let me go ahead now to select a video right away um, which am i going to select now um let me tap on this one right here so guys now you can see i've added a video on this video you can see it right there so let me place the video on one side of the main video let me direct it now to the part so guys now you can see i've placed a video on this main video so guys now you can see it here this is the video right here so guys let me position it at the base of the video so guys, if I actually want to crop this video, what I have to do now is to choose the crop icon within these features right here. You can see these features right here. There is a crop icon right here. So guys, you can see the crop icon right there. So let me tap on the crop icon. And let me crop the video. Let me reduce it. Let me reduce it. And let me tap on good. So guys, now you can see I've reduced the video. I've cropped it. So guys, now let me play this video from the start to the finish. Let me reduce the length of this. Then let me tap on play so guys can see the video is playing as you can see the first photo has popped out and the second one has popped out as well so guys can also see the video that i placed on the video you can see it's playing so guys can see how easy it is you can see how you can actually place photos and how you can actually place videos on your main video so guys this is how it's done and this is how you can do it with a shot so guys i've come to the end of this video and i believe you got value from this if you did make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment and also if you're new to our youtube channel don't forget to hit the bell notification so that nobody will release a new video you're gonna get notified see you in our next upload bye bye peace